Hello guys, this is Nudgedog Gaming, and welcome to the Killing Floor 2 PS4 review. Oh, that rhymed, that was nice. But, like, uh, I'm basically just going to be getting into the thick of it, so let, let me talk about this. I paid $39.99 for pre-order. I'm loving it. I love this game. However, if you're looking for something like a single-player experience, this is not the game for you. If you're, like, looking for storyline, because... From what I've seen, there is no storyline. There's a lot. You can play single player like I'm doing because um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. As you can see, I only use, uh, I go for a survivalist. That's my favorite one. You get a random pistol and I usually just sell it so I can get like some more money real fast so I can get my favorite thing, the katana or the sledgehammer. But uh, yeah, basically this game is really, really nice. It's, it, it has a lot of things that I think you would enjoy. Plenty of guns, plenty of maps. But there is a couple things that gets on my nerves about this game, and I'm going to tell you about it right now. There are sometimes some hackers in your multiplayer. Yeah, there's my katana. There's sometimes some hackers in the multiplayer, and that can really get on your nerves, because they'll be just jumping over and over to different places. They can hide outside the map, because I've seen it before. Like, only one time, though, but when that happens, it gets kind of annoying, because... They do something like I've seen from Left 4 Dead. They'll be like somewhere where zombies can't touch them. They'll be shooting the shit out of them and you basically, you'll die and I'll just be watching. Of course, it's really hard for me to die to a boss because I always play single player so I can solo them. It's pretty easy. But eh, that kind of gets on my nerves. The other thing is like, I mean, I love the selection of guns they have in here, but there are some types of guns I really wish they'd have in here. And they don't, but I guess that's just me. I mean, they're probably like crappy guns that nobody wants, and, you know, they're probably like, well, if nobody else wants them, well, why, do, why do we have to put it in? I mean, I don't want the M14. I haven't, I haven't seen an M14. I have looked everywhere, but like, uh, you know, M14s are one of my favorites. And oh, I like the three-shot burst. But the thing that really gets on my nerves is you'll be going from uh you'll be uh finishing the whole entire level right and then you reach the end and you'll see this boss come up and you're literally just going to be sitting there you're gonna be like again because like from what i've done i have done five maps already just five just solo five maps randomly just playing around and from what i've seen i have only seen two bosses in this whole game i mean come on we're paying 40 bucks here 40 bucks is not cheap but I, I really don't mind because I love the game. But for new people that's getting on, do you really think they're going to just sit here, play the whole map expecting some special boss to come out, and then just see a freaking, uh, like, just freaking that big-ass guy with the machine gun or that one guy, that doctor, like German doctor or something. Do you really think a lot of people are just going to sit there and just wait to go for only two different bosses and pay 40 I mean, $39.99? It's a little bit too much right there. I mean, like, you gotta realize, I mean, we paid that much. We don't, we want more content. And, like, I mean, I'm, I'm only gonna be speaking for some people. Some people might actually want a single player experience, like, um, a storyline, maybe. Or maybe, like, uh, how Titanfall done it. A Titanfall was not a very good game, the first one. I mean, I played it a lot, but it wasn't, like, the best game of all time. But it gave you a storyline and multiplayer. And you could, like, I don't think it gave you a single player, like, storyline, but it gave you a storyline in multiplayer. And that'd be really, really cool to see in this. Like, what could the storyline be? Like, you're just walking around, you choose a character, each character has their own storyline. That'd be perfect. Like, I think everybody would want that. That'd be really cool. There'd be some more depth to the game. It wouldn't just be hacking, slashing, shooting. Then you would be like, oh, okay, well, I gotta do this. And then give them, like, objectives that'll give them, like, bonus experience for that certain class they have. So let's say, uh, you choose the police officer. They're Britain police officer, my favorite. And, uh, he has to go and basically unlock a door to get a special gun. And if you find his special gun, like his favorite gun, then maybe you get, like, either that special gun or you get, like, some bonus experience. Or maybe even a trophy, who knows? I mean, like, the trophies in this is really easy. It's it's really hard to look at, to be honest. And, like, I want more out of my game. I don't know about a lot of other people, but I can't take just having, like, two easy trophies. Like, Binding of Isaac, I play that all the time. Their trophies, that seems like something I want. I want a challenge. 
I don't want to just be looking around and collecting stuff. That's gay. I want to like, um, maybe, I don't know if this is actually a trophy, but this would be great. Let's say you get, like, if there is a max on some of the, on some of the things in here, like Survivor, that'd be cool. Get max on every one of them or max on a certain one and you get a trophy. That would make everybody be like, oh, well, now there's a challenge to it. Now I want that trophy. I want to get that platinum, something like that. But, uh, unfortunately, there isn't. It's just, uh, the game's great. If I was going to rate it, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. I can't give it 8 because there's like, you know, you're paying for a multiplayer experience. You're not paying for a single player. Yes, there is a single player thing in this like I play all the time. But I'm only playing this so I can get used to it so I can go to multiplayer. Because like, you know, I hadn't played this for a couple years. So I'm trying to like get used to the way it is and everything. But like to people that if you don't like a lot of multiplayer, this is not the game for you. If you love multiplayer, don't really care for a single player experience, like basically like a Call of Duty player, which is basically like what I am, you're not going to have any problems with it. You're going to love this game, you're going to be happy with it, you'll be like, oh, just $39.99, that's pretty cheap for what I'm going to be getting. You're getting like hundreds of hours of gameplay. However, like, uh, you know, if you don't like multiplayer, please don't buy this game because you're going to hate the hell out of this game. But that's basically all I have to say. That's my review. Tell me how I am in the comments. If you don't like it, tell me I can go suck one. If you do like it, just like this video and tell us people about it. If you don't like it, you can dislike it or whatever you want to do. But that's just my opinion. That's all I got to say. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.